gorgeous Sunday here in Utah. It is already 1130. I did sleep in a little bit this morning, which is really nice. I don't normally do that, but I figured today would be a fun day to take you with me. Um, for those of you who haven't seen past videos, I am currently doing the 75 hard challenge. So that means two workouts, one outdoors, gallon of water, 10 pages of nonfiction, progress picture, and following a diet. So you'll see bits of that today. I also have to go pick up something from Home Goods, um, and I have some stuff to do around the house. But first things first, I still have not eaten food today, so I'm going to make some pancakes. So I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this. I hope that you can and that I'm not alone, but I've always been just a really fast eater, um, which has led to certain gastrointestinal problems in my life. So for the past few months, in an effort to force myself to eat more slowly and to chew my food thoroughly, I've actually been setting timers <laughs> between each bite, which is so embarrassing. I hate that I even have to do it, but I'm hoping that I can retrain myself to be better about it. Um, but I will say every time that I do this, cause I don't always do it. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm trying to do it as much as I can. Every time that I do it, I have way less of those GI issues. So yeah. Time to get started on some of those tasks and first things first I've been working on making my office a more enjoyable place to be um, so I have some plants here I'll show you what's going on so there's really not much in here basically I just have this like big cushy chair that I use for meditation journaling I have some lights I see my desk books plants mirror and then there's this bookshelf. <laughs> so I got this like two or three years ago. I had a lot of books at the time. I've always been a big reader. I wanted to fill it up because I liked the aesthetic of a full bookshelf, but now I'm trying to own less books, really utilize the library. I still have the books that I really want to keep or I reread regularly things like that but 
I don't need this big bookshelf anymore and Greg doesn't have enough books for us to justify having a bookshelf. So I've been meaning to donate it forever. I finally cleared the stuff off of it. But now I have to go in and reattach these. I don't know. I didn't like the look of it. So there's this thing at the top here and there was one of those on all of the different shelves and I just didn't really love that look so I took them off but I kept them and now I'm going to reattach them so that I can donate it um because I want to donate it in its original form because obviously it was designed that way people might like it that way but I have been putting this off so I'm gonna do that so then it is donatable Watch out guys, I might have to get really into DIY because this is actually fun. Okay, it's a little dusty, but it's done. Unfortunately, I can't donate it today because donations are closed on Sunday, but now it'll be ready to go when the day does come. As you may or may not know, I have been on a bit of a journey to clean up my food. Um, and a big part of that for me has been making more things at home. So I have a few things that I need to make today. But we're gonna start with sourdough. So I've had a sourdough starter for, I wanna say almost a year now. I've been really into it, I really love it. But for the first almost year, uh, my loaves weren't very sour, which was disappointing. I mean, I always got a good rise, a good crumb, but the flavor of it didn't really feel like sourdough. So I found an article, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description in case you're having these same issues, but I found an article that kind of gave tips of things that you can try if you're having that problem and I've been slowly incorporating them and it's actually made a huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my sourdough loaf, but it will not actually go in the oven for two to three days. Um, and I'll explain more of that later. Okay, so the sourdough is incorporated and I am going to leave it here rising. I'll do the stretch and folds every half hour. If you're familiar with sourdough, you know what that is. And then the thing that I'm doing that's really different is after a bulk rise, probably four to six hours, I'll just keep an eye on it, see when it's developed and doubled. Um, then I'm gonna have it sit in the fridge for 36 to 48 hours before throwing it in the oven. So it's actually pretty cool, um, just kind of the science behind it, because the yeast that causes the dough to proof, to rise, can't do that really in the fridge. It slows that process way down, but the bacteria in the sourdough starter are able to continue eating away and multiplying in the fridge. So it pauses the dough rising, which allows it to not overproof, but it allows the sour flavor to continue to develop and it actually worked really well last time. So I'm excited, we'll see how it goes. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
so now I'm walking to Home Goods. I intentionally waited until the hottest part of the day to do this, but that's fine. I am definitely the type who will walk anywhere when it's an option. However, I do not live in a walkable city, but it's been working out lately because part of 75 hard is that you have to have a 40 minute outdoor exercise. So me walking all over town works out. We're hoping to leave Utah within the next year or two. Um, there's a few different places we're floating around, but our current top contender is Seattle, which would be awesome because if you've been to Seattle, many parts of it are much more walkable. You have businesses in walking distance and that is just the dream. Protein bars are ready to be cut. Um, so, it's loud. Sorry, I went to Home Goods because we need a lotion dispenser for the bathroom. Um, I've started getting lotion from the bulk store, so I don't have a container for it. Um, so I've been using like the old plastic one that my last lotion bottle was in, and it just doesn't work super well. So I want to get a nice one to keep in the bathroom and then just refill, but it didn't end up getting anything. Um, I kind of have just reached a point in my life where I want to be really intentional about what I bring into my home. And unless something is an immediate hell yes, um, I have to talk myself out of buying it because this like kind of goes hand in hand with minimalism too. I just don't want to fill my home with things that I sort of like. I want everything to be exactly what I want, <laughs> which makes it hard, but it's not like we don't have a current solution for lotion, so it's fine, but one day. Up next on my to-do list, we are currently working on making our home lower waste. Um, and the next phase of that is moving away from paper tissues. Now this has been a hard sell for Greg because he blows his nose approximately 200 times per day. But we have these old Brooklyn and pillowcases. Um, we had to change the sheets away from that, but we kept the pillowcases and we never use them and they are cotton. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them up into tissues and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, um, we'll probably just buy some reusable cloth tissues, but figure might as well try repurposing something first. are done. Should I hem them? Yes. Am I going to spend five plus hours doing that? Not today. The good news, however, is that I don't have to worry about finding containers for these that I like because I have spent the last six months or more saving candle containers. Look at that. The perfect little tissue box. The last thing that I wanna do before I go ahead and make a dinner is I need to make a summer vision board. So a few videos back, I did kind of a spring reset and I decided to make a vision board for spring and I actually really enjoyed that. So I wanna go ahead and make one for summer. I'll link the video somewhere here so you can see me, see me talking about vision boards if you're curious about that. I know everyone and their dog has a vision board, so I won't get too much into it, but I'm gonna make one for summer um, that's just more aligned with this season and the things that I'm working toward in the coming months. I was actually inspired to do this because the summer solstice was like two, three days ago or something. And so it's officially summer and I just need a bit of a refresh. So yeah, let's do it. 
Here's the finished product. Um, it's not quite as aesthetic as my last one, but I really just wanted to find pictures that aligned with the goals that I've made for this summer. Um, so obviously a couple of these are related to 75 hard with the reading and the food. Um, just really making health a priority. Also, I have two national parks pictures slash hiking because we got the national parks pass and i really want to use it but we've only used it once so i kind of want to go to at least two more this summer and we're in utah so i think we're trying to go to bryce canyon i'm working on creating more of a minimalist wardrobe i got rid of a bunch of stuff but i'm now trying to fill in the pieces that i'm missing hence the picture in the middle there and i just I've really, really been enjoying making content for YouTube, so I want to continue to pursue that, and I would like to get an actual vlogging camera within the next couple of months, so manifesting that. I am so obsessed with this little dog. <laughs> Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> So I started watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days the other night and I actually had to stop watching it because I forgot just how cringe moments of that movie are. I mean, I know that's the point because she's like trying to push him away, but anyway, while I make dinner, I'm going to try to finish this movie and we'll see how it goes gonna be one of those nights where I just chop up a bunch of veggies, season them, and throw them on a sheet pan in the oven. I'm really hungry, um, so I'm not trying to do anything too elaborate, but it should be good. I just threw all those veggies on some arugula. I roasted up some tempeh. It's all just in Cajun seasoning. Uh, my family has been religiously using Tony's seasoning since I was a kid, so I definitely still use it all the time. And then some homemade cashew ranch on the top. <laughs> We are taking Rin on a little walk and then when I get home I'm probably just going to start winding down for the evening so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in seeing my nighttime routine I think I'm going to be posting that next week um, so keep an eye out for that but thanks for coming along with me today and I'll see you next time.